Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get an internship or a job as a data engineer. Now, generally companies don't prefer freshers for this position because you will be working with the production database and you will be dealing with the real time data and companies generally don't want to take risk on freshers. So they generally prefer experienced people, but I will give you step by step guide. So make sure you follow each step and try to understand the process. It is really important to execute these steps in proper order. So pay attention to what I'm trying to say here. These steps require patience, hard work and discipline to execute. So if you are ready for that, then make sure you watch this video till the end to understand each and every process. So let's start by understanding why companies hire people in the first place. Every company has some kind of mission and goal they want to achieve. For an e-commerce company, it might be selling more products by building good UI, ease of payment, doing analysis, building good recommendation system, etc. So they are finding people who can help them to solve this problem with the right skill set. So the first step here is to make a list of the companies you want to work for. Don't just add FANG or big companies to your list. You are a fresher in this field, so your first goal is to get an internship or a job in any company. So how to make a list of companies? Number one, just Google it. Directly search on Google and find the companies that are working on analytics. Second is use Glassdoor to find companies based on their expertise. You want to focus on information technology services and some of the product based companies or startup companies. Third, you can go to Crunchbase which lists all the new companies and you can add them to your list. Fourth is going on LinkedIn and check other people's profile and where they are currently working and you can add that particular company in your list too. Now once you have a list of the companies then it is time to understand what each and every company does. You can go to company website, read about a section, read their mission and try to understand what they are actually trying to achieve. When you apply for a job from the job portal there is a high chance your resume will get rejected by AI itself. So we don't want machine to reject us rather than we need human interaction so that we can easily get the job. So now that you have list of the companies you want to work for, it's time to connect people working in those companies. Try to connect manager position or people who are working at the position you want to work for. You're not going to ask for the referral directly and I'm not talking about asking for referral. Trust me, nobody gives referral to stranger person. So let's say you're working in a company and if I directly message you on LinkedIn that can you give me a referral? Then there is very less chance you will do that because you have your reputation on the stake and I am complete stranger for you. So you won't take that particular risk. But if you know someone and if he asks for the referral, then there are high chances that you will try to refer him to the company. There is a trust and the relationship that is being built. So instead of asking for a referral, you need to have a good conversation with people. Ask them what type of project they work on what skills and technology they use in their day-to-day -day job, what problem they are trying to solve. If a person is working in entry-level position, then also ask them about interview process. It's about asking the right question. You need to have a good conversation. Don't ask something if you don't have anything to give. So like this, talk to people and ask them what kind of problem they are working on in their day-to-day -day job. This will help you to understand what are the different skills are needed and what kind of projects people work on in real world. Now you know what are the skills you need to learn and there are chances some of the skills might be common across different companies such as SQL, Python, cloud such as AWS, Azure, GCP, etc. Now it's not just about learning that skill. You need to document your journey while you're learning that skill. So basically you need to share whatever you learn on daily basis so that people will know that you are up to this particular process. Let's say you start learning SQL, then start documenting things you do with SQL, such as create a GitHub repo and share whatever you do. Share your knowledge on LinkedIn or write a blog. The goal of this process is not to get followers or likes, but to just share whatever you learn every day. This will help you to be more active and you will have something to showcase whenever you get the job opportunity that you were doing this kind of thing, just writing blogs, learning with the people around the world. This shows that you are more active in the community and trying to learn and get better. Now let's say you learn everything from the courses or some tutorials. Now you need to do some good projects to showcase your skills. So how to find good projects? You already understood what these companies are working on and what problems they are trying to solve when you talk to people 
that were working in those companies. For example, let's say they are building ETL pipeline using some AWS services such as S3, Glue, Lambda, Redshift, QuickSight. Then try to find some case studies online related to these services and implement them by yourself. This is where you will apply all the knowledge and the skills you learn from the online courses. You can just go to AWS case study section and learn about it. Like this you can get anything if they are trying to solve online shopping problem then just directly search on Google about case study on online shopping. Understand one problem and try to find data online. You will find similar problem data online so get those data and start working on the problem and solve it. This step is quite difficult because most of the people just give up on this particular step or they don't want to do it because they don't want to feel stupid about themselves. Whenever we are learning anything online courses we assume that we learn just by watching the video but that's not true we just feel good when we watch the course or complete a course or get the certification but when we try to apply that particular knowledge in real world we actually don't know what we are doing there so when you read a case study when you understand a problem and when you know what kind of solution you need to work on that will give you more confidence to work on those particular problems so make sure you understand the problem what these companies are trying to solve and you can get the similar data and you can work on it too document your project properly on github add a proper architecture define the problem you worked on what kind of data you use how you clean it, what was the process, add everything on your github profile. Now once you have good projects in your portfolio, then you can go back to those people who are working in that company, whether it's a manager or a person who is in the senior level and you can just have a conversation that okay, you were working on these problems for last two months, you understood the problem, how you solve it and then you can ask about the referral or the internship position if they have because that shows that you have some kind of hard work and discipline to learn the skills and you can actually solve and help them to solve their problem too. If you have done good work and if it is similar to what they are working on, then it is most likely that you will get a referral. You also need to tailor your resume. You can watch this video to get some idea what to add it in your resume. I understand this process is really long and it is more tempting to just click on easy apply on LinkedIn or just go to job portal and click apply 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 everywhere but most of us don't get replies so if you are facing the same issue then try our both steps and I have done this personally and it worked for me. Also if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video. Thank you.